Hi everyone. This is the last tutorial of the series explaining web development workflow for production. If you haven't seen the last two tutorials, uh, the links are down there in the description section. So in this tutorial we basically want to optimize our CSS and JavaScript files to put them in our production server or wherever we want these files to reside. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to see the upcoming tutorials. Alright, let's get started. In the previous tutorial uh, I actually showed you how you can optimize the CSS and JS files by concatting them uh, using Gulp concatenation module and then minify the result using Gulp uglify for JS files and Gulp uglify CSS for CSS files. In that tutorial uh, we basically as you can see over here we basically created a task finally that runs those for us so as you can see we have a gulp task uh, called concatmin.js which gets the files from the js folder and concat it uh, concat them and then rename them rename the uh, final file to all.min.js minify it afterwards and then put it in a disk folder as you can see we've already done that the problem with this uh, gulp project is that or this gulp file instructions is that you know ultimately you have to modify your index.html file here the links that we have to the correct uh, final you know CSS and JS files the minified ones that we've already created in this tutorial though I want to show you how you can basically create uh, everything uh, automatically using a module called useRef. So it's called Gulp useRef. So let's get started. Let me close this project file here. I don't need it. And what I've created for this tutorial is basically a web interface as you can see here with three links and then it's obviously a responsive web page as you can see when I scroll it. Uh, and uh, this, this interface is built using a framework called RSUI kit which we are developing so I will put the link uh, to this uh, to this uh, kit you know in the description section you can go take a look at it this is my index.js file based on that framework let me resize this and then uh, let me show you some of the things for example you have this navigation where you could modify how it uh, shows up if I do side right it basically shows up from the right side and if I do full here for example at the full it basically you know moves everything for us anyways I, I will I will cover uh, this library or this framework in a tutorial truly later so as you can see here I have my app folder and then CSS IMG folder for, for the images and JS I actually added a main.css modified some of the CSS uh, or some of the styles in my index file uh, to, to you know have something to show so let me go to my index file and move and uh, remove the responsiveness uh, from my navigation so that we can basically see it. So I basically start these three links um, and then I have a JavaScript file I used uh, jQuery to like whenever you click on each one it actually says this section is for the link and then if you click you know each one of them it just you know represents that link. So for the sake of this tutorial I created these and now to the gulp use ref module. So first of all, you have to actually install it. So go, go into your project and basically do npm install and gulp use ref and then if you want to save it in your package.json file, you know, just add this flag. Uh, I have already created my gulp file. I required uh, the gulp use ref plugin. So how it works is that you have to go to your index.html file and you know whatever you want to concatenate you basically go uh, so for example let's say we have two CSS files here one is from the framework that we are using which is called RSUI kit uh, 0.1 CSS I actually put them in a folder called library under the app folder 
uh, created a folder called RSUI Kid. I put the CSS file and JavaScript file for that, and then I basically included them. Uh, so we have RSUI Kid CSS and my own CSS, which I modified the links over here, and then I included the jQuery. It's needed for this library or framework. Uh, and then I included the UI kit uh, JavaScript files and obviously my own um, JavaScript, which is main.js over here. So in order for useRef to understand what to concatenate, we actually use a comment tag here with uh, like build. And then we define the type of uh, the files that we are uh, concatenating, which is like CSS here. And also, we want to give it a path. So we give path CSS, and then let's name it main main.css, right? And then at the end of the, my, my CSS uh, links, we ac I actually put end build, right? I'll do the same for my uh, JavaScripts. So I will do like build. These are obviously JavaScript files, so JS, and I will I would like to put them in js slash main.mean.js and then I will come here and type end build, right? All right, so user basically uses this tag to go over and concatenate the files accordingly and put them in the correct directory as, we, as we've mentioned here. Now to the task that we have to write. Uh, you, you can see that I have created a useRef. I included the useRef already over here. And then it gets everything from our app, that, you know, every HTML file that we have, and then goes through these tags and then figure out what to concatenate. And then I pipe the useRef to do the job. Now, the problem here is that we have two different types. So we have CSS and JS. In order to solve the problem here, we actually need to install a module called gulp if. So what we did, uh, I have required a gulp if, you have to install it using npm install, and then I used gulp if, if it's the JS files, uglify them using a gulp uglify module, and then if they are CSS files, uglify CSS, as you can see here. And then put the final results in the gulp.dist folder. So uh, just to go over it again, my folder structure here is that I, in, in my Gulp project, I have an app folder which contains CSS directory, image directory, JS directory, and a lib for any external libraries that I have used. So I have used jQuery and RSUI kit, and then uh, my index.html file, obviously, and then I uh, have my dist folder, the same level of app where I want the ultimate result or uh, all the files that I want my, for my production to, be, to, to reside over here finally uh, using this gulp task. So the name is useRef. Let me run it for you. So if I do gulp useRef, what you can see here is that it's going to go over to the index.html file and you know you, it creates the results over here. So as you can see in my this folder I have all that mean, sorry not this one, in my dist folder, I have my CSS, which I named here main.mean.css, and also my JS, which is main.mean.js. And interestingly enough, useRef actually created the links for me automatically. So what I need to do is basically get all the files here in my dist folder and put it on my production server, and everything is working as expected. All right, I, I, I wish that you liked this tutorial. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel again to sort of support me creating these tutorials. If you have any comment or questions, you know, just comment down there in this video. And I wish you a great day and night. Goodbye.